Welcome back to Dragon Roost Cavern. I need to remember what to say. Oh well. Alright. So, this is the beginning of the dungeon. It's not really that amazing. Also, uh, what I'm doing there is I'm using a jump attack and I'm spinning the uh, control stick immediately afterward. And that allows me to do a jump spin attack, basically. Once you hit the ground, you spin. Um, you can also mash B to make sure that it happens, because it doesn't always happen. Because, like, that happened, and then... I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't happen. And it's a really quick, a quick and easy way to kill uh, Boo Coblins. Is there anything in this room I need? Probably not. This is the main room of the dungeon. Um, we will be entering this room from multiple points at multiple times, and I will probably not make a note of it because I probably won't remember, but it's... One of the bats just got killed by a falling rock. I'm glad I got that on footage. I love when that happens. But it's kind of interesting looking, as you can see. Giant pillars of fire. Giant gaping maw. Stuff like that. Climb, thank you. So there's little pillars of fire that sometimes jut out of this spot right here. So you have to make sure to not jump into them, obviously, because then you'll fall into the lava. And that is obviously not a good thing. Because not only will I be getting hurt, I will be getting hurt permanently because I cannot heal. Um, go away, bat. Thank you. Sorry, those are keys. Need to remember to call them by their proper term, otherwise people are not going to be happy with me. This is one of the interesting things that you can do in this dungeon. There are vases of water. If you throw them at lava, you make a temporary platform that sometimes sinks into the lava. Don't burn me. Thank you. Oh gosh, I hate when that happens. So now we have the dungeon map, which is all well and good. Goodbye platform. Again, place you can just jump across. And there is a choo, or a choo-choo. I don't remember if it's choo-choo or a choo, but uh, it's probably choo-choo. Those enemies are in multiple Zelda games, um, and in most of them that I remember, you can use part of them for... I think the first one I saw them was actually in, uh... Oh, wait. <laughs> well, that worked. I didn't know that hitting them into the wall would break it. Uh, normally what you're supposed to do is grab this and hit the wall. Or throw it at it. Like that. Oh! How about you two? There we go. Any chew jelly? Yes. So basically, this is red chew jelly. It can be used for potions. I cannot use it, but if I bring it to the potion shop, he will... If I bring five to the potion shop, I believe, then he will make a red potion for me. For free. Um, there are different colored chews as well, and if you bring a certain number of different colored jellies, he will make those potions as well. But as you saw when I was in there, he only has red potions stocked currently. Um, once you get him the uh, different colored chews, he will stock the different colored jellies, or different colored potions. Derp. 
Also, you can throw things up on flowers. I don't know why they stick to the wall like that when you do that, though. Um, I mean, it's useful, I guess. But I would expect them to fall as soon as they're hit. Remember this room? If I forget it, then I forget it on accident, and I'll come back to it later, because I'll definitely remember that there's something that I have to get over there. Move. Go away. Go away. True jelly? True jelly. Alright. Here we go. And there you go. Alright, now I need your stick. And light it on fire, and burn. The uh, solid ones you cannot break with the Lynx sword. You have to use either fire or a larger sword to do so. Um, also, some parts of this dungeon are outside, which, if you fall, it's just a bottomless pit. It's not like you can swim back to the shore, because this is not actually loading any of the islands that are outside. As you can see, there are no shadows for them. Oh, so hey, look, a bridge! Go away. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Uh, there are times that I've done this and I've fallen off this bridge. So I try to not stay on the bridge for very long. Of course, he drops a boo pendant, so I'm going to grab that really quick. Also, there's a uh, fire geyser that comes out of this wall here. You can see pretty clearly on this wooden ladder, <laughs> wooden ladder that has fire going through it, it's charred at this point. You would think that it would be completely demolished because it's made out of wood. Hello, bird. Oh no, I got hit. Oh well. Half a heart. Oh yay, I got a golden feather. don't normally get those at this point. Alright, again, with the fire guys are coming out of the wall, just stay away from it. Cross, quickly, Link. Link! Alright. I'm not expecting it to light up. Does it normally light up that quickly? Huh. Interesting. It doesn't normally light up that quickly. Alright. Another thing that you can do, and uh, the thing that I first thought that you had to do for some of those sections, is you have to hang on them and then climb. And that puzzled me for a long time when I first got this game, uh, because I did not know sliding on a wall was an option. Or sidling. I always get that word wrong. This room has a little bit of an extra thing. If you look closely at these walls, you can see holes that you can crawl through. Basically, you pull out this block here, this block here, and you can walk back here and crawl through this hole. And, uh, hang on, let me go into first person. There's a bunch of rupees back here. And if you don't need them, then you don't have to get them. Doesn't matter. Uh, I think you can actually block yourself off and not be able to get them if you move the blocks too much. Um, like, say I were to pull this out, that falls. I would have to move this block over twice in order to actually get back there now. Um, I am pulling out both the blocks because I don't need to get back there anymore because I've already gotten the rupees. And if I go through the second layer... There's once again a hole I can crawl into, and there are less rupees on the second level than there are on the first. Um, the first one had, I think, three tens and a green or two. This one only had two blues and a green or two. Two greens. Um, anyway. Uh, do I have... I do have... Hang on. One of the things that you can do, really quickly, is when you find a rat hole, 
you can feed the rats, and then they won't attack you. And that makes my life a lot easier. Uh, let's buy all-purpose bait. It is a little bit more expensive, but it does get rid of the rats, so now there's no rats attacking me, and I don't have to worry about them. Also, he tells you about this. By the way, he tells you about this using that stone. Again, logic? No? Well, maybe. <laughs> but, as you can see, there's a locked door. We do not have a key. There are no chests behind us, except for the one that we could not get to. So, just light up a torch. Toss it across. And we can get that chest now. But first, let's grab this chest, which I believe is the compass. It is... Which, why you need a compass, I don't know. Um, it tells you where the treasure chests are, but if the treasure chests are already on the map, which they are, um, you can just figure out which way is north normally. But, I don't know. Again, I don't understand the whole logic of that. And in some games, they don't actually have the compass, which makes more sense to me, because you can figure out which way is north on your own. Still hurting from the last time I faced one of you guys, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. Go away. And run, 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 run. There you go. You live another day, bird. Alright. This room I might get hurt in. Hopefully I won't, but I might. Hello, bat. All the keys, all the keys, all the keys are everywhere. Go, go. Yep, I got a hit. Oh well. One hurts down. Alright, that's another joy pendant for us. I think that's two. Might be three. It is three. Derp. Nope, light went out. The good thing about these sticks is that they don't burn up like uh, Deku sticks did in uh, Ocarina of Time and um, Majora's Mask as well. And I think this might be it for today. Let me check how much time I have. I'm blowing up the pot. Oh no, I can keep going. All right. So I'm afraid that if I stop, I'm going to lose my health that's missing. I'm going to gain it back, I mean. But I don't know. I don't know what happened that one time back at the, uh, at, back at Windfall. Also, do not bring a, um, flaming stick across the bridge if you do not want to fall. Um, I will be showing that later because you have to do that later. Hello. Don't you even hit me. Go away. Alright. You give me your Joe Pendant, that makes four. Go away. You gave me your stick, so that means I can light up this. go. And this gives us yet another treasure chart once I open it. Also, had I had my original health and not been healed, I would be dead right now. <laughs> Which would have been lots of fun. So basically, I just have to play more defensively now. Alright, I think it's you. It's not. Which means it's one of you. Let's go down here and throw. Yep. Go away. And go away. And go away. Alright. It takes 
care of him. And that opens up the doors. So now we can actually get out of this room. Um, there is something hidden in this room up above that I will grab really quickly. It's nothing really big, it's just in this vase that's on the wall, there is a joy pendant. Nothing big, nothing fancy, but useful nonetheless. Alright, in this room we have one of these guys, and I really do not want to face him like this, but... Go, go, away, away, there we go. Alright, now that I'm done with that, I'm grab another bottle, and, uh, I think you might see what we're doing here. If not, then you're about to. <laughs> Alright. Launch me up. Link is not too happy about this situation. I am so glad they took away the beeping, though. Because otherwise I would be annoying everyone watching right now. And annoying myself as well, because... Yeah. There we go. Still have time. I will keep going a little bit further. Alright, and now we have the loading screen. And... That normally means that this is a sub-boss room. However, this room is a bit big. <laughs> no, do not roll. Do not roll. Do not roll. Just walk. Uh, the reason why you just want to walk is, if you can see, the stairs are falling down behind me. Had I rolled and messed it up, I would not be here. <laughs> well, how much damage would that do? Probably would do a uh, full heart. There we go. Go away. It's from you. Go away. Go away. And you. Let's take care of them. And now we have to take care of a spear moblin. Hello. Please don't kill me. I have to be really careful because I think he'll one-shot me if I mess up. Go away. Go. There we go. Whew. And that takes care of that. Now Medley is free. I have a skull necklace. These aren't super useful, but I think I get two treasure charts with them. Hello. Well, speaking of, now that I have met with her, This item is the reason why that rope swinging that I mentioned earlier is a large part of the game. This is basically a rope swing that you can put anywhere you have the ability to, um, because there's wooden rods and different places that it can grapple onto in a large amount of places. I don't know why I'm stuttering right now. This will probably stay on my R button for most of the game, because I like to have it on R or Z um, if I'm playing on the GameCube. Now what you can do is you can stop and talk to her, but I'm not going to. Also, while you're up here, you can take a picture of Valu. 
if you need it. I probably don't, but I don't remember what I have and what I don't have, so we'll see when we get there. Pretty sure I have about two of as well as 99% of the game. Alright, now we just drop back down, and now we turn around to go back to this door. The reason for this is now I have the grappling hook. And I also have a bottle! And, uh, now I can cross over this pit. I don't care about anything right now, except for this pot right here. Very, thank you. <laughs> so now, if I die, I won't actually die. And in this pot over here, I can heal. So there we go. Now I'm not dying. That one has a joy pendant. This one has rupees. This chest, I think is just rupees. Yep. And the other one has something a little bit better, but I have to wait for him to apparently climb up the wall. This is a knight's crust. It'll be useful later. Uh, but not right now. Now we just have to cross over again. And uh, I think that'll be it for today. So I will see you all next time, and we'll be going back outside for a little trip to get something to open that door. So I will see you then.